Hello friends and greetings from La Palma Island, Canary Islands, Spain. From here, from this electrical installation next to the banana plantations, we will do a flight to the new Earth, to new lava delta that could form it last week. Not so long time ago, this piece of land is just a few days old, which is quite special because you don't see this so often. Creation in front of our eyes, new land being formed here on La Palma Island. Uh, thanks to the volcano, we obtain new territory to inhabit and to live. And not only we, but also birds, plants, all kinds of animals are going to live on this new piece of land. So, in a way, there are some good things about the volcano. They give us space to live, to exist. It's a creation and destruction at the same time. Uh, now we are approaching the new lava delta. Uh, and you see how much steam is coming from it. It's still very hot. It's just a few days old. And uh, now we will go a bit lower. We will access there is this beach that would form into this house where it Flat land. And there is a small ocean lake inside of this lava. You'll see it very soon. See how hot it is. Uh, I presume this beach will disappear sooner or later because it's so shallow. You see, uh, water is already soaking through and through erosion, uh, most likely. It will not be here after a few decades or maybe even years. You see there is a lake, an ocean lake to the left, and lots of sulfur, some elements, because they are yellow, and all this steam is coming from the heat, I guess, that is still present. Some birds are already flying over, exploring the new earth. You see how beautiful it is at the same time. There's no human walking on this, on this land. Completely virgin. When our Earth had been created, it must have looked at something like this in the first days of creation, because uh, igneous rock is primordial for, form of rock. Sedimentary rocks came later. They are result of. Um, sediments, uh, sand, all kinds of towns that accumulates and turns into rock. Uh, but the basic uh, form of rock is, of course, lava, igneous rock that you see here. <clears throat> this is the foundation of our Earth. So we owe our existence, in a way, to lava because we live on lava. There would be no lava, there would be no Earth to live on. And it should be also appreciated here a lava was dropping off the cliffs into the ocean. It had been quite spectacular and I regret I hadn't been here a week ago when it was happening because it's so easily accessible this place, at least with the drone. And it could have been filmed, but uh, at least we're filming it now. Maybe we'll come more lava here, we will see. At least right now, there is nothing flowing. I don't see any flows, hot flows on the top. It just looks dead. But it was also, yeah, there was also nothing 20 days ago when I was here. It also looked at that, and then all of a sudden it comes back to life, and the flow, lava flow starts to move. So lava flows are so unpredictable. There you see a new flow next to Todokwe Mountain to the right. It went behind the mountain. It, was, it wasn't there 20 days ago. And this flow in the middle, it also expanded. It was smaller. Now it had got those two tongues that are stretching in a very strange manner, like an animal with two paws. This is the old lava delta that got formed in September. It also expanded somewhat during the past week. 
So now we got two lava deltas, which is quite remarkable. Who would expect to get another lava delta now in the end of November? Even I, when I was leaving the island, I didn't expect that this volcano to last so long. I didn't plan the sec the set trip that I will come here again. But you see, volcanoes are utterly unpredictable. I wouldn't be surprised if this volcano would last another three months or something similar. Half a year, nobody knows what to anticipate from this eruption. They're completely out of control. Some houses, uh, banana houses, got damaged here next to the ocean. Well, many banana plantations went under the lava. That's, of course, the pity, but that's how nature works. And we should respect the nature. It works its own ways. And... It's a clay in the hands of God, a lava. It's the foundational material of our earth. So, and here you see it, how it uh, looks when it erupts. I wish you all the best. Greetings from Lapine Island. Be well.